Hey guys, welcome to a Brick Separator. Today we're going to be looking at the Easter 2021 catalog from Lego. And uh, so we're at, the, we're at the start. On the front we have Lego Video. And this is their new theme that they're doing. And there's a little more on the inside. I'll kind of explain it uh, a little more better there. Um, basically it's like a music app. And then there's sets to go along with the app. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll show you that once it gets to the page, but you got the uh, Balama DJ guy there, a <laughs> pretty cool figure, definitely a very wacky theme. So get started with uh, some of the Easter stuff, so we got some tulips here, cheap little $10 set, kind of nice, uh, you got the Easter sheep, which is the 100, uh, 100 brickhead, I believe. Um, Got the botanical accessories, uh, Easter Bunny, uh, this is really cool looking, uh, proposal ears I like. A uh, little thing they wrote, uh, these are the gift of purchases for a month, and uh, this is the Easter chick egg, uh, only in the store you can get that, with available with purchases over $40. Uh, that's kind of kind of neat. It's free little fin. Uh, Easter Bunny's Carrot House is uh, free of purchase over sixty dollars. This one's actually quite substantial looking. It's got an awesome door. Uh, if that uh, Easter Bunny has a print, that'd be pretty nice. But uh, no one Lego is probably just a sticker. Uh, oh, it's, it's, it's a cool little build. I think I like that one better. Let me get into some Duplo stuff, and uh, we got. Up here, the uh, fire helicopter and police car. Uh, this one's kind of neat, the Mickey and Minnie uh, birthday train. Got some other sets like that. And these ones I really like, these uh, brick heads. Uh, the goldfish and the bug buggy? Buggy or buggy? I don't know what you call that. Um, it, it's a bird. Uh, I like the goldfish ones the best. Like, I'm probably going to get this set. Uh, this, this is really cool looking. I like the way that they did the scales all over it. Really cool. You got the Safari Wildlife Treehouse. And this one's weird because uh, I saw a review of this. And it's actually not uh, just any treehouse. actually just an outhouse in there. So, kind of weird. Um, I don't know. It's 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 interesting. <laughs> To say the least. Yeah, friend set up here. Panda Jungle Treehouse, and that it's actually a pretty good print friend set if I do say so. Um it's all um this looks really nice. I like the pandas, I like the panda up here, tire swim is really neat. Yeah, so yeah, that's a, it's a pretty good friend set. You got the wild lion here. Uh, this is a nice one. The alternate builds pretty cool here. You got an ostrich and a warthog. Uh, both look pretty nice. Ocean Submarine from City. Got some more friend stuff. Helicopter, because even friends uh, can't escape the helicopters. <laughs> helicopters will always be in uh, Lego sets as long as they're, they sell well. <laughs> Got the Cyber Drone up here. Uh, actually, it looks kind of like the, the um, Osprey set, uh, Technic set that was canceled. Uh, kind of interesting seeing that. Uh, it kind of looks like the same thing to me. You got the super bike here, which transforms into two other motorcycle-like fins. Uh, that's actually a pretty good looking set for a price. Race car transporter. Uh, these alternate builds uh, look really good. It might actually be just as good, if not better, than the um, the main build there. Maybe in this one, I think. Uh, the tugboat has that potential. Very cool. You got the car transporter up here, which I like that. Um, I just, this is a cool thing. A little expensive, fairy dollars. If can't can't have one more car, I think it'll be worth it. But uh, this seems a little bit much. The holiday camper van. I had the original version of this set. So this is actually like a remake of an older set, and I have that original version. That was a really great set. Basically, just a reskin of that with a couple little. Um, a few updated uh, features here and there, but that's a good one because the original one was pretty good. 
the road work truck. You got cool uh, rat figure there. New piece. Beach rescue ATV at the bottom. You got some more fire stuff. These are the new uh, cannons. Kind of like the Technic uh, competition cannons. Uh, those are really, really nice. And they shot pretty far. It's basically the same thing except uh, it can be attached like a brick. So that's something I'd be interested in again at some point. Also, I believe this fire truck up here has some turning um, fin, some sort of steering uh, mechanism. So, Lego City definitely does some interesting stuff sometimes for vehicles. The police prisoner transport and police helicopter. Uh, just your typical city sets. And this is my favorite a set of pages in this book, the Technic uh, section. So you got skid steer loader, race plane, uh, the monster jam sets, rescue hovercraft, and the jeep wrangler. I have the grave digger, race plane, and the jeep. Uh, the other three sets I don't have, but the rescue hovercraft is uh, really, really nice looking. Uh, let's zoom in on that real quick, just because it's really cool. It's a fairy dollar set, which is a good price. Uh, you get uh, 457 pieces. And not only does the hovercraft look really good, uh, but it constantly rebuilt into a twin engine aircraft. So that's like a really good build and that could be sold on its own. Uh, like that's, that's worthy of its own set. So you get two really good models in this and the functions on them are pretty good too. So definitely a set that is uh, worth considering. Uh, you got the, the, Ray and the Last Dragon set. Uh, I think there's only one in this page. Uh, or, or actually two. Both of these top ones are at. It's a new movie that Disney's making. I don't know much about it. But uh, this set is kind of interesting. You got some Minecraft sets. This one I actually like. Even though I'm not very into Minecraft. Just, I don't know, something appealing about it. You got Lego Mario, the Star Chorus. Uh, that's a great set. Uh, even at the price, is pretty good. That Mario figure is uh, pretty impressive what it can do. Got some power packs. Uh, the Master Adventure Maker set. And a couple more of the sets here. Uh, the interesting thing is that they're starting to retire some of the first Mario sets. So uh, definitely uh, keep your keep an eye on those if you want them. Because uh, I think the first wave was better than the second wave. Just in general, had more sets. And uh, it was just some better sets to me. Now right, here's where you get into video. So uh, what is video? With all new video, kids can direct, produce, and star in their own unique music video creations using songs from popular artists and share them in a safe social environment too. So um, basically, it's got the steps here. So download, choose, scan, uh, share, uh, record and share. Kind of weirdly ordered there. But yeah, so basically, uh, this, I believe this opens up. Yeah, see the sets a little better. But, um, basically, you get these sets, you can scan them in the app, and then you kind of make your own music videos, and then you can share them, uh, through the app. So it's, it's an interesting thin, but from what I've heard, the app really isn't anything too special. So, um, really, the people just like the figures, and I really like them too, because I like this, you know, wacky llama here. Just get some really wacky figures with some, uh, nice printed tiles, so, it's pretty cool, uh, looking stuff. Got some really crazy looking figures. Kind of like this alien guy. Yeah, so, it's... It's definitely not something that interests me, but it is an interesting idea. I just, Lego's making a lot of uh, new fins, and uh, this rather I stick to, you know, the fins that people really want, like the modular stuff, see, uh, Star Wars popular, those are the fins I'd uh, like to see the most. Here we got some Star Wars stuff, uh, the Trouble on Tatooine, the Imperial TIE Fighter, uh, and the x wing uh, This is a set I have. These two are sets I'm thinking about. Uh, but I like the new smaller size for Star Wars vehicles. Got some uh, marble sets. 
So you got some of these mechs here. Uh, this this uh, Sandman figure I really want. He's just really, really nice looking. Uh, I love that piece on the bottom there for the sand. You got some cool sets over here. Got some Harry Potter stuff. Got some Ninjago stuff. More Ninjago. Uh, this is actually a pretty good wave of Ninjago, I think. Because uh, I'm not a fan of of these of this whole theme, but uh, this is some of the first sets that actually do look interesting to me in quite some time. So the Jungle Dragon looks really nice. Uh, I don't I'm not usually a fan of the teal color, but I think it's kind of interesting in that one. I just like the dragons in general. This uh, totem pole or whatever that is, pretty interesting. Yeah, I just kind of like the color scheme of the sets. It's pretty cool. Got some Monkey Kid stuff. Monkey Kid I don't know really anything about. Uh, this never one of these wacky themes to me. Uh, yes, interesting sets. From what I heard, that theme, that wave wasn't as popular as the first ones. You got some dots, so you got the bracelets. Uh, this is kind of interesting, it's like cupcakes. Yeah, uh, got some bag tags. Uh, and this is the Moss Eisley Cantina from Star Wars. And just look at all these minifigures you get. Uh, you get 20 minifigures and R2-D2. And that's an insane amount of figures for one set. Like, that's got to be pretty close to breaking a record there. But yeah, this is really nice looking. This, uh, again, I don't know what that's called, but... That's a cool creature to get. Yeah, it's, it's just an interesting set. This is uh, never really good set of pages. You got the uh, some Disney Mickey Mouse sets. So I like this uh, art there. If I was to get um, one of art, that might have been that would probably be one I'd get. The buildable characters here. This is awesome. Uh, I just like a lot about that. The blacksmith. This is a new idea set. And uh, I kind of mix in this one. I like, like, I really like it for what it is. Um, the only issue I have with it is it's kind of like not even close to what the fan design looked like. And so you can look at back at the original design of that and just see the difference. But it is quite different. So it's something I feel like they should keep some of the uh, original qualities of the uh, fan design since that's what got the 10,000 votes but I do get you know it's Lego ideas not you know build a set and that's the exact thing they'll make so I mean they took the idea they built something a little pretty different uh, just based on the same thing so it's okay but I'd like to see a little more accurate to the fan design the 123 Sesame Street this is a cool set I had to review um, yeah it's nice Got the Ninjago City Guardians, this massive set, 6,000 pieces, uh, almost 6,000 pieces for $300, which that's a really good price to part um, ratio there. Got the 1989 Batwing, that's a popular one. Police Station, and uh, this this is a set that I've kind of changed my mind on. When I did my rank in every modular video, uh, I, I wasn't very happy with this. But now that I've seen the reviews, I like it quite a bit more. I still don't like these buildings on the side. Um, but I really like this middle building there. that actually houses a police station. But yeah, so it, it was... I've changed my mind on that set a bit. Then you got the botanical collection. You got the bonsai tree and the flower bouquet. Uh, I, I just love that there's like tons of frogs in that set. Pink, pink frogs. And that's just like awesome to me. That's just a really cool building technique. These flowers are pretty realistic looking too. And that's gonna do it. Uh, that's the last page. And yeah, so this is a never good catalog. Um, I mean, rarely is there a bad catalog to be honest. But uh, yeah, that's about gonna do it for today's video. And be sure to check out some of the other ones here on the Brick Separator. See you soon.